Hey guys, and today I'll be doing a review of Google Cardboard, which is an inexpensive VR headset originally introduced by Google at their I.O. conference back in 2014. Since Google doesn't sell Cardboard officially, you either have to buy a third-party kit online or build it yourself. I got mine off Amazon for around $20, so if you want to be like me and pick up one yourself, the link is in the description. So, once you take Google Cardboard out of the package, Assembly in general is pretty straightforward, though one thing that was confusing to me during the assembly process was the, th the first step, which requires folding the lens part under the main assembly. But after figuring that part out, it was pretty much just connecting the number of cardboard flaps to the corresponding gaps. So after you connect all the flaps and glue the magnet switch in place, the next step basically is to download an app on your device. So in my case, I just downloaded the official Cardboard Demo app from the Google Play Store. But if you have an iOS device, you can search for Duravis in the App Store and Cardboard Compatible Apps will show up. So once you have the app ready, you can insert your phone into the front slot of Google Cardboard. And I found that my phone and Nexus 5 fit a lot better in the front slot without a case than with one. So since you can't tap your phone screen while trying out the VR demos, there's a magnetic switch on the side instead that acts like a continue button when using the demos. So the official Google Cardboard app has seven demos in it, which are all pretty cool, but I thought some of the coolest were the Google Earth demo, the Versailles tour guide demo, and the YouTube wall demo. There's also other apps available that work with Google Cardboard for both iOS and Android, like for example, this roller coaster ride demo. Overall, I was pretty amazed how well it worked and that you can try virtual reality and something that costs less than $25. I would recommend this basically to anyone who wants to try virtual reality without having to commit to something more expensive like an Oculus Rift. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to leave a like, comment on this video, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.